Hi friends, welcome to Gastro Guru Cooking Channel. I'm Gastro Guru and today for you I'm going to be making pasta with Iberian chorizo sausage. So a friend of mine brought this from Spain from me and so this is Iberian sausage and it grows in Iberian region of Europe, southwestern Europe which is Portugal and Spain and it's only made from the pigs from that region so it's a chorizo pork sausage it's got spices and garlic and all the other stuff in that already and it tastes fantastic so let's get started to make our Iberian chorizo sausage pasta and be sure to check out this recipe on my youtube channel gastro guru and please like share and subscribe okay thank you all right friends so here i have a large pot of you know water boiling and to that what we're going to do is we're going to add salt because the first thing we're going to do is start cooking our pasta you know for our pasta with iberian sausage so and ample salt in there and then here i have 200 grams of dry linguine pasta so i'm going to let that go in there okay and then what we're gonna do is let it cook for about nine minutes until it's al dente or you know foam to the bite not raw and not overcooked alrighty okay so the next step now is to you know prepare our sausage and the sauce I would say for the pasta all right friends so while our linguine pasta is boiling what we're gonna do is we're gonna start working on this like I said, Iberian sausage, chorizo, okay? And so what we're gonna do is, cut this end off. It's already looking amazing, okay? And then, what we're gonna do is, take the label off. Obviously, we don't want the label. And then, we're gonna start cutting this sausage and we're going to do it two ways so so half of this chorizo Iberian sausage I'm going to cut it into small pieces and then we are going to add that to the pasta and then the rest we're going to serve with onions and bell peppers on the side alrighty so Look at that. Give it a taste. Mm, tastes very good. And what I'm gonna do is remove the casing. It's more like a plastic than right? a casing. Okay. You see how it peels off? So this is plastic, you don't want to read that. And then start cutting this to really small pieces okay so cut it into almost like a crumble like piece small pieces and then we are going to cook this a little bit in olive oil and then we're going to add the pasta to that. So I'm going to continue doing that and then we'll slice this larger. Alrighty? Alright friends, so here I have a hot pan. To that I'm going to add two tablespoons of olive oil. Okay. And then I'm going to stir in the pan to coat it nicely. And as soon as the pan and the oil gets hot, I'm going to be adding the chorizo. So the Iberian chorizo, I chopped it into small pieces, about half the sausage. And this is about, I would say, a cup. And the other half we are going to, you know, serve it separately. And this is a pork sausage, okay? 
coils we had and to that I'm going to add this pork sausage I breathe and I'm going to cook it on medium low now since the pan is pretty hot and I'm going to let I'm going to cook it for about two to three minutes until all the yummy goodness, you know, from the Iberian chorizo sausage is infusing the oil and also it under the cook, alrighty? Alright friends, so the chorizo sausage is done and we're going to put it on the side, took it out from the pan and now to this pan we are going to be building a simple but amazingly tasty sauce. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to add one chopped robot tomato. And what we're going to do is we're going to let the tomato cook down a little bit. Okay. In this in the drippings from the chorizo sauce, sausage. Okay. So while that's happening, what I'm going to do is drain the pasta because the pasta is done. Okay. Look, right now it says smells fantastic. Oh my goodness. Now we don't need to add any garlic or anything to this or anything because the every mature sausage already has all of that in there okay now what i'm going to do is i'm going to add a couple of levels of soggy pasta water to that because that is got a lot of starch and that's going to really help with our sauce okay? Alright friends, at this point what we're going to do is to give it a little bit more flavor and body. We have, I added back the chorizo that we had cooked before and then I'm going to add about a half a cup of chicken stock. Okay. Next thing I'm going to add is salt. This is about 200. 250 grams of pasta. So I added the salt to that. I'm also going to add some crushed black pepper. And then I'm going to add some freshly chopped parsley. Okay. And we're going to give that a good mix. Oh my goodness, that's looking fantastic. Unbelievable. And then when we garnish, plate the pasta, I have a couple of other surprises for you. Okay, look at that. How awesome does that look? Alrighty, we don't want to overcook our pasta. At this point, what we are going to do is going to grate some Parmesan cheese onto the pasta to give it that, you know, either you can add butter, I'm adding this Parmesan Reggiano cheese. So what that's going to do is it's going to stick to the sauce and to the pasta and it's going to taste fantastic. Now I have turned off the heat because when you add the cheese, you don't want to keep on cooking it, otherwise it'll start to curdle. The cheese will start cooking and it be more like scrambled eggs than cheese. Alrighty, so this is good to go. Okay, and now I'm going to remove this and we're going to plate it. We'll be adding a little bit of olive oil, and I'm not taking a new pan because I don't want to lose all the deliciousness from the pasta sauce and the chorizo. Okay. 
add that to the pan. Oil, that is hot. And so at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add our remaining chorizo sausage slices. Okay. And what we're going to do is we are going to quickly brown the chorizo. I mean, you could get it right the way it is. Okay. See, it's already browning nicely. Now at this point, what I'm going to do is I'm going to add some onions. We add some bell peppers. Okay. And then give it a quick toss and let this cook down for about three minutes, okay? So it's been a couple of minutes and all I'm going to do is add a little bit of salt, you know, for the veggies. And then, we don't need to add any pepper because the chorizo is already spicy. And we're going to quickly saute this for a couple of minutes. Uh, so I want to add some fresh parsley to that. And we're going to give this a quick sauce. And then we're going to serve that with our pasta, the side dish already. Yeah. It's almost done. So, we're going to start plating this in a minute. Okay? So there you have it folks. Uh, amazingly delicious pasta, linguine pasta with Iberian chorizo sausage and also a side dish of the Iberian pork sausage with bell peppers and onions. So do check out this awesome recipe on my YouTube channel, Gastro Guru. And please like, share, and subscribe. Thank you very much. Bon appetit.